Man, man, man. So in today's video, we got to highlight Stephen A. Smith finally having enough of Molly Karam trying to play stupid to these subjects live on ESPN First Take. Remember, we covered a video about a month or so ago when Stephen A. had revealed that he was facing some backlash for exposing some WNBA politics and what they were doing in the Olympics politics as well. And Stephen A. and Andrea Carter had that conversation. And Molly Kiram, she was the one constantly trying to interrupt that conversation, trying to stop Stephen A. and Andrea Carter to have that conversation about the politics and what they're doing behind the scenes to Caitlin Clark. Let's check out a little bit of that clip because it's going to put everything into context in today's video. Let's check out this clip right here. Imagine Caitlin joining this team and spending time on the bench. What is the conversation going to be about the entire time the Olympics is going on? Why isn't Caitlin getting more minutes? Why isn't Caitlin playing? I'm sure people will tune in, but what will the conversation be then? You know why we didn't do a better job of promoting the WNBA? Because the numbers, the eyeballs, the interest, the sizzle, the headlines were not there. No one cared. The public didn't care. And Fans so now determined. you have somebody. And so now you have somebody that has the world caring. And you say to her, well, you know what? We want to make purely basketball decisions. It's the right <laughs> thing to do. And we got to be worried about how other people are going to feel. But you're still complaining about the max salary being $250,000. you are still complaining about the absence of eyeballs. You're still complaining about the lack of headlines and notoriety and pub and cachet. You're complaining about all of these things. And the one person who has proven they can alleviate that concern that could ultimately serve to benefit the better whole now we want to sit up there and get all altruistic and stuff and talking about, hey, it's about the sanctity of the game and the level of competition. You're going to win by 30 without her, just like you'd win by 30 with her. It don't make a difference. You make the call because of the betterment of the whole in the end. That is not compromising your integrity. That is business. And y'all are going to find that out. There are always politics involved when you're putting together a team. Whether that works in some players' favor or it works against some players, sometimes it comes down to fit, whether that is based on your personality, whether that's based on if they think the coach is going to get along with you. Whatever they're basing this on, sometimes it doesn't come down to who are the best X's and O basketball players out there on the court. I just want to make sure I'm clear, Andrea Carter. It's good to see you, by the way. Arrah, arrah. Let me talk about politics, right? What we're basically saying, the things that are not related to basketball itself, mm -hmm. other ancillary things on the outside that contribute to formulating a roster, are you saying here over the national airwaves that that actually happens, that that happens all the time? It does, yes. Okay. Sometimes it works uh, in players' favors, on, sometimes it doesn't. That's what I heard I'm saying. You. I heard you, I heard you, I'm going someplace. So why was it a problem? When I pointed out uh, don't how do that. Caitlin Clark We're still on vacation. should have been on Team USA because I was saying it ain't about basketball. It's about marketing. It's about I politics. It, it, I'm saying, no, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm saying, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not saying you're refuting anything like that. I'm simply making the point that there was, there was a tsunami of stuff coming my way. <laughs> Why? You because it. I had the you unmitigated goal you to point out. Excuse me? You deserved it all. Molly, can I, can I speak to Andre? <laughs> yeah. Can I speak to Andre right now? Don't interrupt the flow. Don't interrupt <laughs> the flow. Okay, so in that clip, guys, we heard Stephen A. constantly say that he had faced backlash for revealing that information a while ago, and people like Andrea Carter at the time was not trying to hear that, right? And Molly Karam fits in that same group because she has been on the side of, hey, there's more talent in the WNBA. Let's not focus on Caitlin Clark so much. Let's get into this clip, guys. It's a good video. Before I highlight today's video, guys, be sure to hit that like button for me if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Let's check out this clip right here. But I must say, Shay Shay, I, I'm disappointed in you. And, and, and Molly, I'm disappointed in you. I'm just uh, because we admit this first. What time. happened? We 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 the the, the kind of heat that me and Shannon have had to take. Molly, what's up? 
You're sitting up because here's where I'm at, Molly. Where are all the ladies at? Huh? What, did, what did I say? I mean, uh, who's the bad guy, Shay Shay? It me. It me. We were the bad guy, Shay Shay. Me and you, we were talking about this girl, Caitlin Clark. Oh, let, 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 me, throw, let me throw this out. Oh, By the way, what did he get? Anybody discussion. didn't think Ain't he no was going to be successful or not play. It was just that we felt the other players in the W deserve shine as well. Mo Molly, Molly. I said, really, Molly? Wow. Day. We, really? they jumped on us. They jumped on us, Molly. They jumped on us as a show. They jumped on us as a show when we were talking about it. Caitlin Clark, all the ladies out there, I, 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 and I love them. Monica, Andrea, Janae, all of yous. All of yous. I'm, I'm looking for everybody, okay? I, I ain't going to look for Cheryl Swoop. She got issues right now. I understand that. You understand what I'm saying? With people getting on about Caitlin Clark. We'll talk about that another day. But here's where we go. We going to stay on Caitlin Clark for a second here, okay? There is no question. The race for rookie of the year is over. After what they did to the sky, after they've won their fourth straight, after they're over 500, they were just 500 the other day for the first time in two years when they were two and two. These They, they doing their thing. And Caitlin Clark, last 12 games, 23.4 points or 47% shooting, second leading scorer in the entire WNBA behind the, the monster that is Asia Wilson, who's going to be league MVP and deserves it, by the way. The reigning two-time champion, who probably is going to three-peat in my estimation. She is just something special. Best player in the world, as far as I'm concerned, okay? We got that going on 10.6 assists for Caitlin Clark leads the lead she's the league assist leader okay nine and three since July 6th third best record in the WNBA over this time behind Minnesota and the New York Liberty and I already added that they won four straight and then the sixth seed just two and a half games out of the fifth seed Caitlin Clark has been flat out balling and she has elevated her level of play to a point there is no debate I understand Angel Reese has been doing a thing with the double-doubles, like 24 straight double-doubles and all yep. this. Major props to her, and she deserves She's going to be number two, but Caitlin Clark going to win Rookie of the Year. Caitlin Clark is in the conversation. She ain't going to win it because Asia Wilson there. But Caitlin Clark is in the conversation for league MVP. I don't know if you already know that, but she in the conversation. League MVP as a rookie. So when I talked about her team USA and I talked about what she was bringing to the table and I talked about her marketability and how she's selling out everywhere she goes and the whole bit, where everybody at now? Well, have you seen them, Shay Shay? I mean, I, I can't. I, I haven't seen anybody. Have you seen them? I haven't seen them because we damn sure took a lot of heat. We were talking about what this girl going to bring to the table. Now yeah. it's crickets. No What's one up? denied the fact that she's a star and she couldn't play. It was just that it takes Y'all were denied it, Molly. Don't do that. And there's Don't do that, Molly. Shannon, what are you saying? People didn't Don't think do that, that Caitlin Clark was talented? Be what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that a lot of you came up here and because Caitlin Clark was getting shine, you guys were saying, don't give Caitlin Clark shine because there were women that was better for her that don't get shine. So no, we're not, I'm not gonna let you do it, Stephen A. Yeah, Mike, there were a but lot I'm not of people that laid it. the groundwork you, that deserve shine as well. He, here, they got the, are here's they, what are we're they gonna do. Shannon, are they playing now? Here's are we playing? Are do. they playing now? We don't have. We know what Cynthia Cooper did. We don't have Monica. We don't, have, delay, Monica. Shannon, we Shannon, don't have Andrea. Remember, you got to We don't have delay, any Shannon. of the women, Chanae. They'll come delay, back Shannon. on. We'll revisit right. this conversation gladly. Okay, so that's the end of that clip, guys. And I just want to say salute to Stephen A. and Shannon Sharp for finally putting Molly Kiram in her place because they act like they can't do that. You know, look at the guys like Skip Bayless. He put his moderators and co-hosts in their place. In a heartbeat, not saying that's the right thing to do all the time. But, you know, when you have your co-host or moderator or anybody that's involved in these topics and they act so confused or play one sided at times, especially when the show is facing backlash. And that's what Stephen A was saying. He's like, yo, we were being called out as a show. And now you're on the hot seat trying to play dumb to the topic like you don't know what's going on so how can you sit up here and say that like you wasn't on the other side opposing not supporting Caitlin Clark and acting like you don't realize how much backlash that they were facing so I gotta say salute to Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp for that man y'all get in the comment section down below I would love to hear your thoughts about today's video don't forget to hit that like button if you made this far in the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well comment down new sub if you're a new sub catch you guys on the next video and we out guys peace